Good morning and welcome to the Foods Podcast. Today is the 24th of September, year 2020. Today is Thursday, getting closer to the weekend. Today we are going to be talking about discipline. And today's topic is, do you open your ear to discipline? Do you open your ear to discipline? It's not an easy thing to be disciplined. You have to make a conscious effort to learn it, you know, to be taught by the Holy Spirit, to be disciplined. And God is the one that can open our ear to discipline. When we look at the book of Job in um, chapter 36, it was talking about how God was mighty and how he did not despise any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. That else can be found in verse 5. He preserveth not the life of the wicked, but giveth right to the poor. That's verse 6. He withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous, but with kings are they on the throne. Yea, he doth establish them forever, and they are exalted. And if they be bound in fetters, and beholden in cords of affliction, then he sheweth them from Issueth them their work and their transgressions that they have exceeded. Verse 10. He openeth also their ear to discipline and commandeth that they return from iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge. The person that God loves is the person that God will correct. The person that God loves, is the person that God will open his or her ear to discipline. And that is why the topic is, do you open your ear to discipline? Just to bring it down to our own level, what do we mean, you know, by discipline? Discipline is the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior. Sometimes discipline is using punishment to correct disobedience. So just to simply put, train to obey rules or a code of behavior or as well using punishment to correct disobedience. So it's a practice of making people obey rules or standards of behavior and then punishing them when they do not. And it's not an easy thing to discipline people. It's not an easy thing to discipline yourself. Self-discipline is so, 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 so tasking. You know, you have to go that extra mile. But are, are you open to discipline? Do you open your ear to discipline when God disciplines you? Because there is benefit when God disciplines. You can see what Job said. Job said, if they obey and serve him, They shall spend their days in in prosperity and their years in pleasure. So when God opens your ear to discipline and commands you to return from your iniquities or from your iniquity, when you obey him and then when you serve him, you will spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. However, but if you do not obey, if you obey not, you will perish by the sword and shall die without knowledge. That will not be your portion. That will not be my portion in the name of Jesus. We will be children that love correction. Why? Because God corrects his children in love. And we will be children that will obey God and serve him. And not just God alone. Even whilst we are here on earth. You know, are we open to discipline when we are being corrected by our parents? Especially when we are being corrected in love. You know, do we see beyond why they are telling us to do what they are doing do you see the greater picture that it is for our own good it is someone that you love that you correct it's someone that you love that you try and explain things to for them to be a better person for them to take another route which will not lead to their destruction of course when people tell you things you must be sure that it's not inconsistent with with the word of god you must always 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 you know make sure that you're not doing anything out of the will of god and outside of the word of god but i would encourage you to open your ear to discipline especially when god is speaking to you especially when the holy spirit is whispering to your ears it's better for you to be disciplined by god than for you to be loved by men 
So please open your ear to discipline. And as you do so, and as you obey God and serve him, he would ensure and make sure that you spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasures because he is a God that honors his word even more than his name. Have a fantastic day. I'll surely see you in the next episode of the Foods Podcast. Keep being, you know, that child of God in whom he is well pleased in. And trust me, God will not leave you. Make sure that heaven is your goal and you make sure that you get into that place. God bless you. Shalom.